Hello, folks. Welcome to Revolution Cycles. We're going to be telling you about the most anticipated piece of training equipment to be released this year. We're talking about the Wahoo Kicker K5. This is the fifth generation, which has now been launched in 2020, and uh, we've got our hands on this very hot property. Something that is uh, to be looked forward to is to unbox this product and see how well they have upgraded this latest unit. Wahoo have been the leaders in indoor training equipment since 2014, making incredibly robust products and uh, having that amazing support that comes with the Wahoo brand. We're gonna be opening up this version, taking a look and see at what they have increased and what they have improved and where they have bettered what was already an incredible piece of equipment. Right, moment of truth, we're gonna get uh, the new Wahoo Kicker K5 out of the box and take a look how it is. Visually from the box, it looks pretty similar to the previous versions. And uh, one of the biggest questions when it comes to something which is new is how much is the price difference? So Wahoo have kept the pricing the same as with previous versions of the Wahoo Kicker. The K5 still retails at the same price as the K4 or the V4. Um, retailing for 5299 in AED terms um, and that keeps it in line with the previous version. As you can see when you open up the box there's a couple of really cool bits and pieces inside. Obviously you've got your power supply, various different power adapters if you're going to be traveling around. You've got your UAE power supply, then you've got your UK power point, you've also got your US power supply and also hidden inside this little bag here is you've got the brand new Wahoo Kicker access pads. I'll show you a little bit more about those once we get them out the box. Something that should be known about the kicker is that it is a fairly weighty piece of equipment. It's coming in at just around 21 kilos. And the easiest way to get it out is turn it on its side and slide it out. There we go, in all its beauty and magnificence, the Wahoo Kicker V5. Immediately noticeable, a couple of things which are slightly changed on the K5 is these are the access feet, access pads, which uh, now add about 5% movement on your kicker, which makes it a little bit more quieter on a vibration point of view. Um, most of us live with houses now with concrete floors, uh, but if you lived on a second floor apartment with a wooden floor, it might just help uh, reduce a bit of noise going down to your neighbor. It also reduces the noise in the house. The Wahoo kicker itself is virtually silent. It's ever so much quieter than the V4, which is very silent as it was. As you can see, coming out of the box comes with the standard 11-speed Shimano cassette. This is changeable and adaptable to be able to use cassettes from eight speeds all the way up to your SRAM 12-speed. You'd have to change, obviously, the cassette and the cassette body, but it's compatible with pretty much everything. You can take the cassette off and change it eight, nine, 10, and 11-speed, which comes standard with it. Comes with your, uh, your skewer for mounting, your power port, which power cable goes in when you've selected which power charger you're gonna use from your kicker. And a um, little interesting port that we'll talk about a little bit later on at the back. It's a direct mount uh, for some uh, ethernet ports to go in. So there is some stuff which has been locked away in the kicker for some updates that are probably gonna be coming at some point, but that's a direct access point for an ethernet port. As you can see, the freewheel body or the fly body is still a massive amount. It comes in at now seven and a half pounds, which, sorry, seven and a half kilos, which adds a bit of that weight to this big boy. Again, the sturdiness of the kicker is in the fact that it's got really wide set of legs on it. So when you're getting into a proper powered sprint, you're gonna feel stable, it's virtually silent, and you can see the amount of uh, engineering which has gone into that to make that a solid piece of kit. 